Hello and welcome to my first ever how to play video. Now this is going to be a how to play uh, a video for Funeral Friends song Recovery of of Hours. Um, so uh, hopefully this goes all right. It's my first. If it doesn't go all right, hopefully I'll get better. Let's get going. Okay, so we're about to start then the beginning. So the intro goes a little something like this. Okay, so the way that's split up is you have first section, oh I'll call it the first section, it goes like this. So that way that's done is power chord on the four there, then you have four, seven, hammer on. Then you have six, seven, so that's six on the G, not on the D anymore. So six and then seven back on the D. So. And you have a slide from the four to the six on the D. So and the way that's done is then you have Six, nine, six. That's seven and nine are on the B string. So it's so that's two and four. That's nice simple. And that's the first section. The second section comes after that bit. So that's the way that's done is you should bar the entire fourth fret on the all the way along the tour. And so that way you have so that, that done, so you have so you have four, so five, four, five, with the strings kicking it in between the palm music four, so and that's four, six, four. be two and zero and then you have the third section which goes so that the way that's done is again you have string skipping so and then octave chord seven and nine up to nine and eleven so and then you do the next bit. Again, and then the octave chords are two frets up from the one before. With that rhythm. So that's the lead guitar. The rhythm guitar goes like this. That's it. That's pretty much it. Um, and then that's the intro and the verse. Um, the chorus goes something like this. So the, for the guitar that was going, that moves on to be the rhythm guitar in the uh, well, it's the rhythm guitar in the song really, apart from for the verse. So for this bit, it goes like this. Seventh fret and uh, nine, so seven, nine, nine, and then change up to nine, seven, nine. And all you have to do is, if you're just going to put a power chord like that, and just leave your hand in the same position, making sure your forefinger is in that step, like that, and move this, and move your second finger from that nine there to the nine there, making sure that gap for that. That is that first guitar part. So the other guitar part is the lead for the chorus. It's a nice little high bit, like most of your friend songs. And it goes like this. And that's played on the ninth fret on the uh, on the D string, ninth fret on the G string, tenth fret on the B string. 
12th string, uh, 12th fret on the E string, 10th fret back on the B string, and then, uh, yeah, a little, uh, uh, turn there, so 9, 10, 9, then the back of 10 on the B string, and then 11, 9, 11, 9, so that first 11, 9 on the G, second one on the D. So, that is the other guitar part for the chorus. Then, the second time the chorus comes around, it has sort of this second half of it, where the rhythm guitar, so the, that, that guitar, just does the same exact rhythm, but changes its chords to two power chords. So the first power chord being on the five, second power chord being on the seven. So... And that's simple as that. Nice and easy. So the next guitar part, um, the other guitar part, going on top of that, um, this is going to sound really bad because my intonation shot on this guitar, but hopefully you'll get the idea. Um, it goes something like this. So that is uh, nice and easy. Octave chords all the way along. 5, 7, 9, 11, 12 the first time. 7, 9, 11, 12 the second time, this time you're sending a bit longer on the 12. Then you do the same as the first bit, and then you go on to do 9, 11, 12, 14, 16. Nice and simple. Okay, so now we have the bridge. The bridge is nice and easy on one guitar, and um, it really is quite simple on the other guitar as well, if you can get the rhythm. So, the, f uh, the guitar I'm always doing first is the rhythm for the most of the song, so I'll do that bit now. So the bit the after it's gone... We'll then go into the bridge like this. power chords really the whole time and a couple of little uh, tricks involved. So you've got on the fourth, then you've got a lot of power chords, but you've got, you've got that low D flat in there. So. That, and then you do a palm mute and a little uh, octave and that's fine. Uh, nice and simple. So it's um, that does that six times, nice and simple. The other guitar part is again the easier one. Um, so from the chorus, after it doing the two chords going up here, it will then go something along the lines of this. So the way that's done is. It's 10, 12, 14, 15, and 17, all on the B string the first time. And the second time, it does that same exact thing, but then has a little second half of it, which is 17 on the high E string, and then back down 17, 15, 14, 15, 14, 12. And on that last time, when it goes into the, going into the breakdown bit, it ends on that 10. Um, and... Yeah, going into the breakdown bit for the rhythm guitar, it just ends on the open. Promise me. So we're going to have the breakdown now. The breakdown is not exactly what most people would do in a breakdown. It's not a metalcore breakdown. It is a nice and simple breakdown um, in terms of time-wise. So um, the I'll do the guitars the other way around this time, just for ease. Um, so, the first guitar um, I'm going to do is the guitar that's been playing the high lick. So, it, it plays just three notes pretty much the entire breakdown, which is this note here, which is 11 on the G string, 10 on the B string, and 12 on the E string. So it goes like this. Like that, for the first four times with the gap coming in where he says promise me 
and then when he starts singing again after You Will Not Ever Leave, it just stays constant, uh, quavers. <laughs> Nice and simple. So now going on to the other guitar, which is harder. Um, yeah, uh, basically on the first bit, just before the first pause, it has a nice little riff. It's just, which is essentially four on that uh, D string, six on the G string, seven on the D string. So. Four on the D string, and then seven on the B string, six on the G string, so, and then back to that. So back onto the seven and four. So nice and nice and easy. Eight notes. So it's just and it's all semi quavers. Um, so it does that. Then it has the promise me in a whisper, and after that promise me, then it does. Uh, a different li different riff afterwards. So it goes with this. So play that full speed. Like that. So full speed, it can be a bit tricky. I recommend you just practice it with a metronome. Suddenly it becomes sort of easy over time. Um, so and that is open for five, so okay, so hopefully you've got that there. So you've got so open four five seven five four zero four, and that seven is on the string above, so not on the A string, it's on the D string. Everything else is on that uh, A string for that first bit. And then for the second second half, well not second half, the second third, you go again four notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have open on the A, and then four, six, seven on the D. Then four, seven, four being on the G, seven being back on the D. Then this is a bit of a jump. You go four, pull off. So four, pull off on the E string. And so that's the second third. And then the final third is the same as the first riff I showed you, which is... So you have to put it all together. So the first bit is... The second part is... And the third part is... All together. And so that is the breakdown. Um, uh, and that stays the same the whole time. It has the rest every single time. Um, so you'll get used to that. Um, that is that. It will then go into the sort of bridge bit, back like uh, it was before, before finally going to the outro. And the outro is pretty simple. It's two notes. One of them being open, and the other being fourth fret. I, when I say two mo notes, I meant two frets, really. So there's open, and four. So it goes like this. Simple as that. Just l listen out to the song for the rhythm. I mean, or you can just listen to what I just played. That is the rhythm. Uh, it's just open and four. Nice and simple. Um, hopefully you found this useful. If not, tell me and I'll make another one. Hopefully it's better. Um, thanks for using this. Um, hopefully my future ones are better and hopefully I can get the intonation on the guitar to back how it should be so that my high notes don't really sound horrible. Um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.